What's going on? I want you to meet Sarah. Now, Sarah reached out to me in an email saying that she's having some concerns with her hair. So I'm going to walk through exactly what four mistakes that I'm seeing currently, and more importantly, how she can address those mistakes so she can get a more fun and exciting look. At the very end, I'm also going to add in some curveballs, some totally random styles that she might love or hate. You might love or hate. <laughs> we will find out. So why don't we read Sarah's email? Hey, Justin been a subscriber for a while now, and I'm really not the demographic of many of your submission photo women. I do enjoy watching your videos and learning tips and tricks on how to get a hairstyle that best suits certain people. I know I'm considered young, so this would be a little different, but I'm about to turn 30 in a few months and just had a baby back in December. I feel like I have always struggled to find something that suits myself and end up feeling kind of blah with my hair. I have an odd face shape, I feel, a lazy eye, and a larger nose, which I find makes it even more difficult when trying to find a hairstyle to offset these features. I do prefer ashy baby beige, blonde, and brown colors, and while these photos are of my natural hair air dried, I do style my hair frequently and have no problem with a hairstyle that requires that, especially because I've had bangs basically my whole life. In the photos, I have the bangs parted to the side, but they are short enough and styled in a way that I also have the option to move them over into a full fringe. Wanted to see if you could help me fix this poodle puff of mess and make me feel like a pretty young mother. Thank you for your time and consideration. Okay, now before we dive into the mistakes, I do want to reference something that Sarah mentioned in her email. First off, Sarah, thank you so much for reaching out. I know that you felt that you're maybe a little bit younger than my standard demographic for this particular series. And I understand that, and thank you for reaching out anyway. But if you're new to the channel, I haven't said this in a while, so I want to make sure that you know, I am very aware that the titling, and especially the thumbnail of this particular series, would lend itself to the idea that I want to help people look younger or maybe even a specific age. My real goal with this series and my entire channel to begin with has always been to help people look the best and feel the best whatever age they are. I also want to mention something else that Sarah mentioned in her email and that is she feels she has a lazy eye. <laughs> Can we all admit for a second that we are our own worst critics? I know I am. Am I the only one that did not see a lazy eye at all? Sarah, I noticed that you have beautiful eyes, but comment below if all you noticed was the same thing I noticed. Sarah has beautiful eyes. Now, with that said, I'm going to approach this email as though her concerns of a lazy eye and a larger nose are an actual problem because regardless of what I or anyone else thinks, Sarah, that's what you see and so we want to address that accordingly and that's what I would tell anybody. So, with that said, uh, let's dive into the mistakes. Okay, now mistake number one is that the length is just a little bit too long. Not dramatically, but a little bit. Now the concern with this is that it forces us to leave any sort of layering or anything else we add to the shape long as well, so that it'll balance with that length. Now I know that you saw this photo where her hair has actually been styled and is a little bit on the straighter side, but her natural texture, what you can see in this photo, has actually got quite a bit of wave and even some curl to it. And the concern is that if we have to leave these layers longer, some of the versatility in the way that she styles her hair is going to be taken away because that wave is going to compound and those layers are going to feel very heavy and it's going to get very triangular. Bringing that length up while it might not change the overall look a ton, it's more about what it does for us and our ability to create shape through the rest of the mistakes. So if we were to bring that length up a little bit, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, <laughs> It's almost, you can't even tell what happened. But it does make the ends look a little bit stronger. But again, like I said, this really has nothing to do with changing everything right now in terms of the way it looks. It has everything to do with opening her hands up to be able to do more in other areas of her cut to give her more versatility and more options. Now, before we actually show you the rest of these photos, I do want to just kind of throw out, you're going to notice that the color is a little bit darker in the kind of after photos than in her before photo. And the reason for that is because I was having a problem trying to match her color specifically for some reason. I just couldn't get the programs that I was using to appropriately match it. But then I also noticed that the darker shades I kind of like on her. I actually think it brings out those beautiful eyes and really kind of adds some richness to her skin tone. So I didn't hate it and just kind of said, you know what, we're going to go with it. Okay, mistake number two is just there's not enough layering internally or in the back. And the concern with this is that it just lacks movement in the overall shape, which is really kind of taking away from her having a kind of more youthful and just kind of more energetic feel. So I'm going to show you what it would look like if we did add it but I'm going to show it to you after mistake number three so I can show you mistake number two and three together. But let's go to mistake number three so y'all understand. Okay, now mistake number three is that there's just really not enough layering in the front to tie the bangs into the front length. Now, there is some layering, which you can see right here, but it doesn't really go all the way into connecting that. In her email, Sarah mentioned that she has a hard time finding specific styles for her face because she feels that there's particular things about her face that she doesn't like or that are odd. Now, the layers added in the front are actually going to help offset all of this. Let me explain this a little bit more. 
Let's say you're worried about your nose being on the larger side. Now, if you want to offset that, bringing hair into your face actually draws more attention to the center of your face, which would bring more attention to your nose. So you want to be able to bring that hair back off of your face to draw attention away from your nose. Now, at the same time, though, you still want to be able to accentuate cheek structure and jaw structure and all of those things. And in some cases, you might need some hair coming in your face to achieve that. So if we were to have, like, let's say, a bang that kind of breaks over at your cheekbone, that'll help to actually accentuate cheekbone structure, but the rest of your hair layered enough to come back off your face will help to open your face up so that it doesn't draw more emphasis to your nose in the same time. So if we were to layer the back and break up the layers in the front a little bit more on Sarah's shape and bring it back off of her face, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, this does do a good job of opening her face up a little bit, and it still is bringing attention to her cheekbone structure. But there still is one aspect of this that will lead us on to mistake number four that I think if we modify just a little bit, it would go even further. So let's take a look at mistake number four. Okay, now mistake number four is that the bangs are just a little bit too long, which obviously is probably just due to needing to be trimmed potentially, but they're also a little bit too dense. I know that Sarah's got beautiful eyes and she wants to frame those eyes to some extent, bring them out. But at the same time, she also said she has a concern with her nose. While those bangs do a fantastic job of framing her eyes, they also close in on her face and start bringing more attention to the center of her face again. So having bangs isn't a bad idea, but having bangs in the right way, I think is going to be a lot more advantageous for her. So with that said, if we were to lighten those bangs up a little bit or open them up, I should say, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, the bangs still draw more emphasis to her eyes. Not quite as dramatically as the full bang does, but it's a little bit of a give and take. We're giving up some of that dramatic emphasis, but we're taking away the emphasis of bringing the eye straight to the center of her face. I think we're getting a lot to give up a little. Now, with all that said, I'm gonna show you guys a different view over here. This view, obviously does not suck, but I want to show you a view over here because what you don't know is there's a house right over here. Uh, it's on a property. I want this property so bad. And the reason I want it is because these views that it has are insane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over while I show you the curveballs. We're going to show you some other crazy views of what I think Sarah could wear. And at the same time, show you some other beautiful views of where I think I want to live. Sounded like a plan. All right. Okay. Now I'm a little embarrassed of him. <laughs> I came all the way over here to show you this amazing view. It's all socked in the clouds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough about that. <laughs> On to the curveballs. Curveball number one is this. So I like the length of this, but the real reason that I bring this in is because that length actually does a really good job of accentuating jaw structure, which also gives a strong structure to the face. So it lifts everything and accentuates everything. Because we still bring this off of the face and the bangs are still swept off to the side, we're still, again, bringing focus to her eyes, but not overly bringing focus to her eyes, which would then, again, bring more focus or attention to her nose. That's one of them. Now, I've got two more. The last one, you're either going to like it or hate it, so we'll find out. <laughs> number two, well, curve one number two is this. Okay, so I didn't change the style on this. I just think that her going into like a burgundy red could be really cool. I think it's not a massive switch from where she's at, but I think that it is something that she wears with her skin complexion and with her eyes. I think this does a really good job of bringing out her eyes even more. Granted, red is like the hardest color to maintain, so there's definitely a level of maintenance with something like this. But aside from that, I think the overall look is really cool. Curveball number three. Okay, so I saw, obviously, that she's got a lot of wave and curl in her hair. You can see that again in this photo right here. So I wanted to do something that actually accentuated some of that natural body. But I wanted to keep it at a length range that was still long enough that if she straightened it, it would be somewhat comfortable to where she's at now. So it wouldn't be a dramatic shift in the overall length. And in fact, it's actually not a dramatic shift from the overall style that I recommended she moved into. If you notice, this is still off of her face, right? So this still does a good job of framing her facial structure of bringing attention to her eyes but at the same time it's a very different overall hairstyle but you know me i'm not really interested in what i know i'm interested in what you think so what do you think do you think she should stay with what i recommended in the beginning or stay with her the way her hair is now or curveball one two three what are your thoughts go ahead and comment below let me know and otherwise go ahead and watch this video right here because if you like this you're gonna love this and i will see you there and i wish we could see a view here it is so good the view is so good okay i'm leaving now but that view oh it is it's so good